Howdy, folks. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update brought to you by Car Anomaly. Sorry we're a little slow. The horse was a little slow getting to the barn today. <laughs> Speaking of slow getting to the barn today, what are cryptos doing? Well, I'll tell you what. Don't be in any hurry for this report. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, yeah. We Your got, red's I, making I, me I, blue, man. Well, I got news for you. My red's going to be making a lot of people blue. Let's go ahead and check it out. Bitcoin down 2147. Let's go ahead and look at a chart of that. You can see those big alternating red and green candles. Uh, it's uh, like I've been saying, you know, nothing goes straight up. You got to digest these moves. And I think it's about time for Bitcoin to do that. Now, the interesting thing is, is the overall market is not down as much as Bitcoin. Mm. It's only down 3.55. Bitcoin's down 4.23. So I like to see that. Look at the Dow. Dow taking a little bit of it on the chin. And, you know, in my opinion, that's kind of starting to roll over. And if you draw a line across the bottoms coming starting in the beginning of 2020, right there just before January, you can see that it wouldn't take too much downward action for us to pierce that trend line and uh, kind of turn things a little negative. So anyway, Dow's off 111, uh, 1.11%. 1 S&P's off 1.34%. And the NASDAQ's off 1.73%. And gold is off 0.65%. Silver is off 2.5%. And they're all going to gold. I mean, not gold, all going to oil. Oil, yeah. Oil's up three bucks. Wow. 64, 120. Come on, my Earl friend, slow down. I don't want to be paying a whole lot more for gas. Let's look at those futures. And they were kind of uh, like narrowing out. We're at 54, 510 on the December 21. We're at 48, 2. So basically, you're at uh, six. Uh, about 6,300. Mm -hmm. That's a wide gap, you know, uh, much wider than we've had. Uh, and then you go and you look out. And remember yesterday we had an anomaly where we had the December 22 that was down big. Well, guess what? Today it's up big. And look at that. It's almost almost 6,000 yeah. above where it is. And here again, folks, when everybody thinks they know where it's going, it doesn't go that way. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like in high school when you're sure the girl's going to say yes, she finds a new boyfriend. So uh, I think they're going to be out there finding a new boyfriend. Go looking through Ethereum's down 38, DOT down two, XRP's up two cents, Cardano uh, down 11 cents, eight dollars down for Litecoin, and CoinLink is down two. 15. It's just red, 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 red. Nobody wants to own anything. Yeah. On this Thursday, but that delta between between twenty two and, and twenty one and twenty two of twelve or today, oh yeah, of twelve thousand yeah, dollars, that's huge. huge. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. And remember, I've long talked about how the fact that what I call the off chain, uh, the options, the futures, um, they're not technically derivatives, but you know all the side betting that goes on around the price of Bitcoin, mm -hmm. but really doesn't affect the price of Bitcoin, mm -hmm. and it settles out in U.S. dollars. You know, that's a whole nother circus, you know. And yeah. so sometimes you just have to look at it and say, you know, not my uh, not my circus, not my monkey, because <laughs> the, the monkey they're trading on over there isn't really the Bitcoin that those of us that are that are dedicated to cryptocurrencies and the benefits are, are really interested in and hodling and everything. Else. Oh, yeah. And, and folks, let me tell you something. I, one of the things that you'll see that we do almost every day, we tell you of a new person that's got involved, a new use case and all this stuff. And like, you know, much wow. I, I have to tell you, Mark Cuban, I'm not a big fan. I mean, you know, who he is who he is. I'm, I'm not an anti-Mark Cuban guy. He just doesn't really impress me. But uh, they're now accepting Dogecoin. The Mavericks are accepting Dogecoin. They've been accepting crypto for a couple of years. Oh, yeah. And we're going to see more movement of all these people that, for a couple of different reasons, and I just think that it's good news. It shows use case, gets people familiar with it, and and so it's foreign still to too many people. Yeah, you know, the good thing about Mark Cuban is he is a great opportunist. Oh, I yes, mean, he know, is. And, yes. And he may not, you know, uh, some people think he's the sharpest tool in the shed, uh, he might be the sharpest from the stick in the eye kind of perspective. Yeah. Because, but he is an opportunist. I mean, remember he sold his company that never made anything. Yeah. For billions to Yahoo. Yeah. Okay. Back in the and then they the, folded it. Yeah. Back in the dot com struggle. Yeah. You know, and all that sort of thing. But you know, what are we talking about? We're talking about Dogecoin. If there's ever a time to come out and accept Dogecoin and know that the Wild West Crypto Show is going to talk about it. Oh yeah. And virtually everybody's going to talk about it. So, Mark, you keep being you. And, you, you uh, think and the he, Spurs are going to keep beating your ass every time. We're <laughs> there you go. There you go. You, you think he's uh, you think he's got a little Madonna in him? You know, any news is good news. You know <laughs> well, what I'm saying? You know? I, he bugs a lot, but yeah. Go yeah. Ahead. 
Hey, so and, and I think this one's interesting. So we reported a couple of weeks ago, as did a whole lot of people, when Elon Musk went in and, and Tesla bought a billion and a half dollars worth of Bitcoin, which, I, folks, watch what these markets are going to do. I mean, I, in my opinion, it's a smart move, kind of hedging your bet. But now former Goldman CIO urges Tesla to get out of Bitcoin, get out of cryptocurrencies. And he's trying to say that the reason that Tesla's fallen pretty significant. Right. And he's saying that the reason Tesla's fallen is because they bought Bitcoin. That's. Yeah, well, that may be why he's a former Goldman CEO. Well, it, it could be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you make enough bad calls, so what do you do? You lose your job, you just keep making bad calls on other people. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but, but you know, one of the things I see about this, and, I, and if you look at Tesla it, 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 as the automotive behemoth that they are, but they're, what, what shocked me is since February 8th when they bought that stuff, Tesla yeah. stock has dropped 30%. I didn't realize yeah. it was under, under that big a route. Well, here again, the market is at times people acting out their neuroses with dollars. Oh, so yeah. You, you can't read too much into those leads, especially on a short-term basis. Absolutely. Folks, we're gonna, I've got a great show coming up this week. It'll be released tomorrow. You don't want to miss that. And we'll be back here with a daily update again tomorrow. Have a great day.